I like to discuss infrared photography. In this video, I'll look at the other side of visible light, ultraviolet. If you're new to infrared photography, I have a free ebook titled Getting Started with Your Converted Infrared or Full Spectrum Camera. Check it out, the link is in the description. Ultraviolet light, specifically near ultraviolet light, has wavelengths from about 300 to 400 nanometers. While near ultraviolet light is visible to some birds, insects, and fish, it's not visible to humans. In order to capture UV light, you'll need a camera converted to full spectrum. A full spectrum camera removes the hot mirror that normally blocks UV light from reaching the sensor. Digital camera sensors can detect wavelengths as low as around 350 nanometers. This allows a full spectrum camera to capture near ultraviolet light from 350 to 400 nanometers. Cameras that support high ISO values will work better than cameras that are noisy at high ISOs. You'll need an ultraviolet pass filter. The UV pass filter blocks visible and infrared light, while allowing UV light to pass. In this case, I'm using a Kalari Vision ultraviolet band pass transmission lens filter. If you want to shoot UV in a studio, indoors, or in conditions other than direct sunlight, you'll need a UV flash. Finally, you'll need a lens that transmits ultraviolet light well. Vintage lenses without modern coatings or entry-level lenses with simple optical formulas transmit more UV light. Modern or more complex lenses may transmit less UV light. I'm using the Fujinon XF 50mm f2. UV photography requires direct sunlight, flashes, or very long exposures. Shooting in the shade will severely reduce exposure and contrast. Shadows on your subject will have a dramatic impact. Even in direct sunlight, getting enough UV light for a good exposure is challenging. The shutter speed for most of these images was around a hundredth of a second, which allowed me to shoot handheld with this lens. I used apertures from f2 to f4. This required ISO settings of 3200 to 12800. Sunscreen not only blocks UV light from burning your skin, it also blocks UV light from reflecting back to the camera, making areas covered in sunscreen appear darker. A UV camera can help identify where you missed a spot. Makeup with sunscreen will also hide skin features otherwise visible to UV light. In your camera, UV images will appear as violet monochrome images. Shoot in RAW and process images as black and white. These images were edited in Lightroom Mobile with basic adjustments and color grading. Shooting portraits in ultraviolet can result in images that are distinctly different than conventional portrait photography or mobile phone images. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared and ultraviolet photography journey, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Do you have any topics related to IR or UV photography that you'd like to see addressed? Leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.